If you're a mom, you've likely experienced that instant bond when you have your baby from the minute the baby's born. That bond gave Elise Summit woman a sixth sense to know something was wrong. She fought to save her daughter, and as Cynthia Newsom explained, she's now fighting for other newborns. How cute! Four little gymnasts practicing for a weekend competition. Four-year-old Chloe can spin, twirl, and point with the best of them. And check her out on the parallel bar. Her abs are in top shape. Chloe's mom, Kelly, couldn't be more proud. She's just an, a normal kid. You'd never know. Never know that Chloe has been walking a delicate balancing act with life since she was born. Um, I have to be special. About nine hours after she was born, I just had this feeling that something was wrong. At first, no one believed her. I kept asking the nurses if she was okay, and they said yes. Eventually, Chloe was diagnosed with a congenital heart defect. Her blood was not getting enough oxygen. She was transferred to Children's Mercy Hospital and had open heart surgery at four months old. And then when I found out that she could have got this screening and we would have, we would have known earlier than I just want other families to have that option. Cardiologist Dr. Bill Drake explained that the test is called the pulse oximetry or pulse ox test. Most metro hospitals are testing newborns, but some are not. A little light attached to a piece of tape, and once this gets plugged into the machine, the light turns on and it measures oxygen levels in the baby. The problem is you can't always tell just by looking at the baby whether or not they have congenital heart problems. So it's possible the parent could take the baby home, that baby would go into shock and possibly even die. Chloe is alive today because her mom insisted on more tests. Now, Kelly is on a campaign to get a Missouri state law making pulse ox screening mandatory. I want to do this for the families yet to come because congenital heart defects is the number one birth defect. There's a bill in the Missouri legislature called Chloe's Law. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. In February is Heart Health Month, and the American Heart Association is also pushing to make pulse ox testing mandatory.